Last night I pulled out my train set and set the train track up. Not sure if this layout of the train track is actually gonna work or not. Last year I did a big oval. This year I wanted to put a little curve into it and that's the area that I'm not sure if it's gonna work. So I need to put the train on and do a test run, but I can't do that until I have something bracing underneath the train track in between the tables. So last year as the season went, I ran into my train derailing to the point where I stopped running the train and it kept derailing in the one area. So as the train would come through the wood tunnel, on top of it right now is one of two pieces of the styrofoam end tunnel that that piece butts up to the wood tunnel there and that was the area that it kept derailing so it could have been one of two problems it could have been the track maybe there was something on the track or the track actually shifted somehow or another that's very possible or it could have been getting hung up on the um styrofoam tunnel so i'm kind of thinking maybe starting a different rebuilding of that tunnel, that styrofoam tunnel, and I'd have to do two pieces. So that is something that I'm also thinking about right now. I decided I'm gonna need the space, so I might as well just start with it instead of having to shift everything later. So I put a tablecloth on that one end table. I put my styrofoam base down on the areas that I don't have to cut anything for. Um, Last year, I cut off my styrofoam base to fit the layout. This year's layout is a little different, so obviously I've got some uh, cutting and adding of styrofoam that I need to do. Now, we have also talked about just putting styrofoam base down on top of all the tables and then building everything on top of the styrofoam base. Now, that might work, but I see two problems. One being the track. Um, the track's still gonna slide on that styrofoam base unless we carve into it. And I'm not really liking that idea because I know I'm gonna change the um, village up next year. So, and I'll probably end up changing the track up next year. So I'm not liking that idea. And then as far as the wood tunnel, that wood tunnel is heavy. And if we set that on top of a sheet of uh, the um, styrofoam, it's gonna, cave that styrofoam in and then it's gonna shift my track anyways and that's gonna cause derailment. So this year's goal is not to have any derailments or at least a fraction of what I was doing last year or had last year. So one option would be just to cut a piece of styrofoam to go inside the um, tunnel. I don't know, I'm thinking about that. I'm not like 100% liking it, but I'm not 100% not liking it. So it's one more of those areas that I'm thinking about. Last year, I did get a lot of questions about my train and what type of train it is. So if you're wondering about my train, go ahead, comment below. I get enough comments. I will make a video about my train.